See him behind the dish. Think he's gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now Brady throwing on second down. Goes underneath here to White. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. Back-to-back -back gains of 17, and they are really on the march now. It's a first down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves. And this is caught by Allen for a New England touchdown. With the first touchdown of Super Bowl 53. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. Koski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. down here with Palmer. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Four yards remaining now on second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now Palmer to throw on second down. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he's going to be taken down deep into Patriot territory. A huge play there for Arizona. 45 yards. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a gain of six on the play. And that'll make it a second down.
possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A great play there. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Start the drive with a give to White. Finding some room at midfield. The 30, 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. James White, 65 yards. And the Patriots have taken the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. The tight end, Jermaine Gresham, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Throwing again. Palmer. And he's got the veteran here. It's Mike Wallace. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. And now a first down following that long gain. A first carry now. This is Johnson looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Second down, here's Palmer. Airing this one out for Fitzgerald. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Out of the 
gun. Palmer. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. The drive starts with a run by White. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Shotgun now for Brady. Throw here's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, third down here. All right, here we go, partner. It's the Super Bowl. We always talk about keys to the game. No bigger one in this one than what they told us. They're going to take their best cover guy and put him on their number one receiver. Sort of be the game within the big game. <laughs> Throwing is Brady on third down. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's brought down after a good game. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great... So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They stay on the ground with White. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Six there, down to the 37. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra.
Now he'll throw with Brady. And a dump off to White. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. They'll run with Wayne. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? From the gun on third down, Brady. Wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Marcus Golden in there to drop him for a loss on the play. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And that field goal caps an 11-play drive. That's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. That'll be taken in the end zone. Oh, what a move. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Play action. Now Palmer. Buying time to his left. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Second down, Johnson breaks a tackle. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run.
They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Johnson on the draw. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. Johnson and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. now Palmer and he's caught right at the 10 yard line and he carries this one all the way down to the nine that one goes for 24 yards This is Johnson, and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. they get a little bit closer here it's third and goal now a second timeout called for by the defense so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime now this will be the ninth play on this drive play that time so a big stop and it's going to leave them with a fourth and goal there are certain drives in the game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment this is one of those drives and Forbath will put this one through and they're back within a touchdown it's 17 to 10 so give them three there a good drive gets them inside the five but they couldn't punch it in and credit this defense too that was the old bend but don't break approach but it kept the offense out of the end zone here comes Philip Dorsett now to return it and a pretty good return here he'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line so the Patriots coming out now. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So the D-line's going to spread out. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. And yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. So we've come upon half. Do you seriously just skip the halftime of the Super Bowl? Who does that? It's a Super Bowl. Watch the halftime show. All right, here we go. Third quarter action now. That's fielded in the end zone. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up Palmer now throwing the out route incomplete it's Brown and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line that one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. And Palmer gives to Johnson. And now running right through it. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense. They were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front? creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. Off the play fake. Here's Palmer. Dumping it off for Johnson. Six yards on the pickup, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. From the gun, it's Palmer. Caught right side, Gresham. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Here's Andy Lee now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We've got, de we got, the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see what the offense gets done. Right. 
from the gun, it's Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. the 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first and 10, here's Brady. Dorsett's got it. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. on the pickup there and it'll be second down. Well that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Second down, here's Brady. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And defensively, going with a dime set, six DBs on third and four. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he'll have his man, that's Edelman. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. The snap comes at one and it's Brady. Goes underneath here to White. And he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll run it now, out of the gun. 
And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Brady to throw on second down. Going underneath for Lewis. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Call it a gain of five. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. And this seemingly endless drive continues. On third down. That's right. They didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. They come out here in the eye. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They'll run. This is right. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Back now here on EA Sports. Oh, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Now a carry for White. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the pickup, and that is going to set up third and goal. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And this offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Brady's going to sneak it. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Now, this feels like old-school football because this has turned into a good old-fashioned goal line stand. So on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and they double him up here. That makes our score 20-10. to 10. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make him score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. It's Palmer. 
And that is incomplete. Mike Wallace, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second down here after the incomplete pass. To throw again, Palmer. Over the middle here to Brown. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now Palmer on first down. And this one's incomplete. The intended receiver was David Johnson. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Second and ten. It's Palmer again. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. The two old workhorses, Palmer and Fitzgerald, connecting there for a Cardinal first. I know that throughout his career, Carson Palmer has caught a little bit of grief along the way about winning big games and, and being consistent, but I noticed that when he doesn't connect with Larry Fitzgerald until the second half, their team's behind. Absolutely not a good recipe. And we were wondering, we said at halftime, they've got to get on the same page. He is very important to his team. I would say vital. Carson Palmer finding Larry Fitzgerald, that's the winning edge for them. They'll throw on first down here with Palmer. And Gresham has it left side. A gain of six there on first. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. To throw again, it's Palmer. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Paul. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. And here comes play number six on this drive. Now a tenth carry for Johnson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Not an ideal spot to be on first down, but I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. Second down following the run. They go to Johnson again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David Johnson taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. It's up and good, and the lead's now down to three at 20 to 17. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one too. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bashed it. <laughs> Super toe. <tough. laughs> Brady. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Robert Kimdichi able to drop him for a loss of four. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. Shotgun now for Brady. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Chris Hogan, 82 yards. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Partner, one of the cardinal rules of defense is that if you're in position to make a tackle, you need to make it. Well, and if you can't make the tackle before that, knock that ball down, right? Yeah, something has to happen because we saw the end result there. Missed tackle, he goes all the way and takes it for a touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. <laughs> and he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. He's going deep for Brown. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here, when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. Now White. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third down and 12. Throwing his Brady on third down. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. Brady finding Hogan on third down of the Patriots able to convert. And now the Cardinals are going to use another timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter.
offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Goes right side, complete to Gronk. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. They give him a gain of 38. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll run for it. This is White. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. play. This is White. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Time for a break. We're back to crown a champion after this. This offense so far on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and goal. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. He loses four, and it brings up fourth. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give them some breathing room and lets them build up a little cushion. That's a strong running. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Take off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And an alley to run. And he slides to avoid the hit. Give him nine on the play. And that'll make it second and short. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. 
on second down. Here's Palmer. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. And now a first down following that long gain. From the shotgun, it's Palmer. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Eric Rowe. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy. You know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.